everyone. I hope everyone's having a great day. We're going to start off with the RSO panels. Uh, this is an opportunity to ask uh, questions at the end of this. If you have any questions about any RSOs that you see that you're interested in, make sure to write down their name, their contact. Um, and it's going to be really exciting for everyone to get to know who, uh, who these people are. So let us start. Okay, so like just to get to go overview, these are the RSOs we're getting to know today. We have Af Alpha Kappa Psi, CEO Knights, FMA, Phi Delta Phi, Student Accounting Society, and Young Investors Club. And then we'll have a panel of questions uh, told for them to answer. And then after that, we will have the Q&A and that is the opportunity for everyone to unmute themselves uh, and to put in the chat specifically if they have an individual question for any of the organizations you see up here, or if they have a group question that you want all of them to answer. So once we get to the Q&A, that's your opportunity to jump in and type in a question in the chat. And I have uh, two co-hosts who are amazing, Alexis and Michaela. They will come in and help uh, moderate that. So this is gonna be super fun. Let's get started. So we have over 26 registered student organizations. If you go to Night Connect, you can actually access and find out more organizations um, to be a part of. The ones that are here to present are not just the only ones that we have on campus. Um, we have a variety for all different uh, majors, and that's including accounting, biz obviously business, while business students here, finance, and et cetera. So to start off, we have Af Alpha Kappa Psi. Would you like to begin? Hi, hi everyone. I'm Brother Carmen Tatum. I'm currently the Vice President of Finance of UCF's chapter of Alpha Kappa Psi. Um, just a little bit about Alpha Kappa Psi. It's the oldest, largest, and most prestigious business professional fraternity in the world. We're co-ed, um, which means that we're open to male and females. And we aim to develop professional, hard, and soft core skills in individuals of any majors. Um, our first informational meeting is actually coming up soon, uh, tomorrow and the 22nd at 6 p.m. Hello. Um, and then our, our national dues are $60. For new members, the dues are uh, $84. You can find more information at that website link and follow us on Instagram. Awesome. And then to continue. Oh yeah, these are just like <laughs> some photos of some engagement that we do here and there. We volunteer, um, but there hasn't been as many volunteer opportunities because of coronavirus, but it'll definitely pick back up when the world opens. Awesome. So I'm gonna give this two minutes for anyone who has individual questions for um, Alpha Kappa Psi. Uh, you can put it in the chat right now. If not, I have some individual questions to ask you anyways. Oh my God, sorry. <laughs> okay, so why should people join Alpha Kappa Psi? Sure, so um, individuals of every major should join Alpha Kappa Psi to obtain critical professional skills necessary to kind of excel in tomorrow's workforce. Uh, two of our important pillars are brotherhood and professionalism. So we kind of were a support system for each other to motivate each other to achieve more. By the end of your time with Alpha Kappa Psi, you'll definitely walk away with your head higher, speak with more confidence, and step into each opportunity with skills that will help you make an impact. Awesome. Um, how is Alpha Kappa Psi different from other business frater uh, fraternities? Sure, so Alpha Kappa Psi offers a range of opportunities, allowing our active brothers to excel wherever they choose. Unlike some other um, business fraternities, we kind of accept all majors, which helps us share the knowledge of all industries with one another. Wow, that's awesome. So what is Rush? Sure, so Rush is our two weeks where uh, people who would like to become a member can learn more about the organization as well as meet current brothers and current brothers can get to know you. That's that awesome. way you can make an informed decision on if you really wanna be a part of the organization. 
Wow. Um, so are there any restrictions to who can rush? Um, no, there's actually no restrictions to who can rush. Um, there is some restrictions on candidates. It's just um, our last, if you're in like your last semester, um, we kind of don't um, accept like last semester seniors, just because we want you to be able to experience the brotherhood in its entirety and be able to use all the resources that we offer. And also our rush week is starting next week. So definitely comment your email or comment below if you would like some more information on that. Wow, that's awesome. And last question, what kind of rush candidates are you looking for? Sure, so we're looking for individuals who are team players, but also independent. Someone who's reliable, responsible, and will make a difference in our organization because we don't really want we're not looking for potential, we're looking for individuals with promise, individuals who will give back because we know what we're investing into you. We, our primary mission is to develop, is to develop principled business leaders. So we do expect you to take on like a leadership position or make a difference big or small as soon as you enter the organization. Thank you so much. That's Alpha Kappa Psi. Next, we have CEO Knights. Jacob, can you take it away, please? Yeah, hey, everybody. Thank you so much. Um, like she said, my name is Jake Wolf. I'm the uh, president of CEO Knights, and we are the on campus entrepreneurship club. Um, that looks a lot differently than it has in past semesters, but we've kind of turned it around in our benefit. Um, we have Zoom meetings every week, as you guys can see. Uh, we have our first meeting tonight, actually, in like, what, an hour and a half? Um, and it's just gonna be an informational meeting where, you know, you'll get a little bit more in depth look rather than, you know, just a two or three minute spiel here. Um, we try to keep our dues relatively cheap at $25 a semester or $45 for the year, your first meeting's free. And that doesn't include the uh, informational meeting. So I know that next week we have a, uh, the owner of a franchise chain, well, a franchisee of Dunkin Donuts that has like 25 locations and he's come to speak. And that's what we try to do pretty much every week. We have speakers from pretty much all walks of business life come in and share their experiences. Um, our speakers really range from whatever our members want that semester. So if you guys say that you're interested in real estate and you're having trouble like finding a mentor, we can kind of help you facilitate that by going finding professional in that field, having them, having them come in. And since we're still red, <clears throat> A, a relatively small club, you can interact with them and network with them. And I know that back before COVID, I met some of my mentors by just going and grabbing a beer after or something like that. So, or not a beer, a coffee, <laughs> you know. Um, but if that sounds like it's interesting to you guys, you can follow us on social media at CEO Nights or yeah, come to our meeting. Um, the Zoom information will be on our social media. So I would go to our Instagram. That's I think where everything's posted. Well, that's awesome. Thank you. Also, they have a QR code if you want to scan it. Do you, do you know what that QR code goes to? Yes, I believe it is our social media. Awesome. So take out your phones and scan the QR code. I think it's our social media. Awesome. Do you want to talk about the pictures? Yeah. So um, the meeting up in the top that you see with all those people, I wish that was the size of our meeting. It's not. That's a uh, trifecta meeting between us, the Young Investors Club and uh, the Real Estate Club, if I'm correct, from back before good old COVID hit. Um, in, the meet in, in the middle, you see us with a uh, certificate and our board at our national conference. That was also before COVID, but we're hoping that that comes back this semester or this fall, I mean, we take that every year. And then at the bottom, we have some of our speakers. Um, you have Julian Mayer, um, you guys probably recognize Jesse Wolf, uh, the fine lady right there. That's Jessica Dowry. Uh, she's coming back, I believe, on the 17th of this month, or uh, of February, rather. And she's a, uh, a big real estate lady. So if you guys want to network with her, she's a, she's a nice lady. She knows awesome. So can I ask you, like, what kind of op So I guess you kind of went over just by pointing out the pictures of different opportunities yeah, go ahead. that are open. 
Um, what would you say is the best opportunity that you've experienced by being a part of the CEO nights? Yeah, so um, for me, it's definitely been the networking um, with the speakers, because like I said, we're still a relatively small club with like now with COVID, like 20 to 30 members a meeting. So mm -hmm. we try to structure the meeting so that half the time is them presenting and then half the time it's just like a casual Q&A kind of conversation mm -hmm. where you can just ask them anything. You can get, you know, their information if you want to email them or, you know, reach out. Um, I know that I actually got an internship from it. So the guy on the left, Julian Mayer, he works for an investment bank that's stationed out in New York and then has a satellite office in Orlando. Right. So back when he, I first met him, he had flown down to Orlando, not to speak, just speak for us, but um, you know, that was something that he did and started talking to him. And then a year later I wrote, uh, he came back down here and I knew just because of his LinkedIn that he was down here. So I re reached out and said, Hey, do you want to go and grab a drink coffee? Um, and so, yeah, he offered me a position at the uh, investment bank in Orlando. So that's awesome. Well, thank uh, you. So it, it's, a, it's different for everyone, you know. It's really what you make of it. No, for sure. I 100% agree. CEO Knights, thank you so much. We're going to move on to um, FMA. Hello, I am Ryan Vargas, and I am the secretary for Financial Management Association. So, FMA or Financial Management Association is a business organization meant to help students on their journey towards becoming successful business professionals. We're focused on finance, but open to all. Any business student can derive value from membership with FMA. We do weekly meetings where you can interact with employers and expand your network, as well as workshops to improve your professional skills and social events to make you feel like a part of the family. We host our meetings every Wednesday at 6 p.m. And our first meeting is next Wednesday on the 27th. This will be a kickoff meeting and an icebreaker for new and returning members to get to know each other. We will also be having our first social next Thursday on the 28th, where we will be playing finance and UCF trivia on Kahoot. Our dues are $50 for the semester, $90 for the year, and your first meeting is free. If you would like to find out more information, you can contact us at fma.ecf at gmail.com, visit us on Instagram at FMA Nights, or you can scan the QR code on the bottom right of this slide to join our Slack group. And I will also post our Slack link to so that you can join and find out when our upcoming activities are. So we'll give people time to do that. Yeah, awesome. And yeah, definitely FMA. Um, I'm gonna move on to the pictures. Do you wanna talk a little bit about the pictures? I'm gonna ask you a couple of questions. I would love to talk about these pictures. So on this slide, you can see photos of FMA members from various events. So for example, the one on the top left was when we did a fundraising event at the Daytona 500. And I could personally say that that was a blast. If COVID wasn't a thing, we would be doing that again now this February. But of course, we're at the mercy of COVID right now, so we can't do that. Um, below that, you see a picture of us at the park pre-COVID, us out at a restaurant, pre-COVID. Actually on the bottom right, you can see pictures of FMA members in New York. So at the end of our semesters, when we were able to, we would actually have people go to the Money Show Conference in Las Vegas. And we were gonna go to New York again this past March for the Quinnipiac Game Forum. But because of COVID, we had that derailed those plans. But as soon as restrictions begin to ease up, we will be looking to get back to doing these type of conferences and fundraising events as soon as possible because they're a blast. And I want to see us return to that as soon as possible whenever it's safe to do so. Awesome. So also I would like to, sorry to interrupt, but I would like to mention some of the employers that we've had come to our meetings. We've had Raymond James come to our meetings, which will be back this semester. We've had Bank of New York Mellon, which will be back this semester. We've had Lockheed Martin. We've had Siemens, Citibank, Wells Fargo, and College of Business Administration alumni come speak to us as well. So also our meetings do qualify for GEB points. So if you would like to get more involved on campus and also satisfy your point requirements for your GEB classes, this is a fantastic way to do that. So if you're interested, visit our Slack link, visit our social medias 
and we'll see you all at the first meeting. I hope to see some of you there. Thank you. Wow, that's awesome. So one question at least. Um, what would you say is your best experience in FMA? It sounds like you have so much that has occurred, a lot of events. What would be your favorite event? My best experience at FMA was my first semester. My first semester was spring of 2020. And I'm going to be honest. So before FMA, I wasn't involved in anything on campus. So I would just go to class and then go right back home. And I didn't know anyone. So I knew that I had to change. So I decided, okay, I'm going to finally get involved and I'm going to go to a meeting because I had heard about FMA. And I'll be honest, I was not very comfortable at that first meeting because I didn't really know anyone. I was like, oh, wow, you know, this is kind of, this is kind of crazy. But I decided, okay, I have to stay involved. And I kept on going to meetings. As I kept on going, I got a lot more comfortable and was actually able to start meeting people. And our socials actually helped a lot with that to be able to interact with the members in a casual environment, not just in a strictly professional business environment. I was able to really get to know everyone and everyone was super lively and super friendly. And then on top of that, going to these fundraisers, going to the conferences that we were able to go to, it was a blast and it really bonded us together and really made it feel like a family type of thing. So that was my best experience. I hope that in the future that, uh, because it really changed my college experience it breathed life into my college experience and it made it 20,000 times better than it was before. So I hope our organization can do that for some of you who are here today. And I hope that we can bring that real life experience that we had back in the spring before COVID to you so that you can enjoy that as soon as possible. That's what I hope for. Awesome. Thank you so much. Thank you. So moving on to Phi Delta Phi. Um. Hello, good afternoon, everyone. My name is Alyssa Thomas. I'm the Director of Outreach um, for Phi Delta Phi International Legal Honor Society. Um, we are basically, obviously, a legal honor society, and we advocate for um, professionalism, scholarship, civility, and um, ethical conduct within the legal field and even in law school or at an undergraduate level. Um, I know we're kind of the oddball here, as this is, you know, the College of Business, but um, I don't know if if legal study if yeah legal studies wasn't a major here I would definitely be majoring in a business major as you know it's helpful for say you want to open up your law firm so you have obviously the background of running a business from your major. Um, our first GVM is January 26, which is next Tuesday at 6 p.m. And then we have bi-weekly meetings. So it's every other week on Tuesdays at 6 p.m. Um, we have a one-time national fee of $135. And then this semester, well, this whole year, we cut um, our dues in half. So new members, it's only $20. And returning members, it's $25. There's our website if you want to check us out and hear more and then also this is um, our Instagram is at UCF Phi Delta Phi um, you can also scan the QR code it'll take you right to our Instagram I suggest you do it it's very aesthetically pleasing and you see <laughs> everything that we do and um, our members as well wow that's awesome thank you so much so wow look at this some of it looks like from your Instagram post <laughs> yeah see. yeah literally <laughs> um, so just a sneak inside PDP, um, we do member of the week's posts, um, just everyone can learn a little bit more of our members and also give our members a spotlight and let them know we appreciate you guys um, thoroughly. Uh, we also were very active. We volunteered, that was last semester, we did Nugget for Nuggets, so just basically going out, getting people registered to vote, and then at the end they get Chick-fil-A Nuggets and take a picture with Nugget, which is the best part. Um, we also have a mentor-mentee program. Um, I myself was a mentor and I had a, a blast with my mentee. We did study dates and things of that nature, and it's just a great way to connect with people and get to know people and build relationships. It's truly um, an amazing experience and everyone's amazing, and I, I love PDP, it's great. So, yeah. Awesome, I'm gonna ask you one question. Um, how has PDP impacted your life? Like what is something that, you know, PDP has changed you for the better? So honestly, PDP, um, being the director of outreach, uh, being in this leadership position, it has molded me as a better leader than when I first entered into college. And, and truly, and everyone has, 
helped. The whole eboard has um, added to the molding of my leadership skills and how I conduct um, business as the director of outreach and just getting people involved in our club and interested. So even if you know you're a business major, you're not really sure what you want to do. Um, this is a great place if you're interested in the law because obviously there's corporate law, um, business law, and things of that nature, real estate. So if if those two mesh with you, PDP is the place for you. <laughs> That's awesome. Thank you. Thank Lou, you. Um, Student Accounting so Society. Do you? Hi mind? everyone. My name is Megan. I'm the president president of the Student Accounting Society. So joining SAS is a great way to make connections with professionals who could be instrumental to your career growth and development. It's also a great way to build a network of peers who will support you in your academic journey. We have weekly meetings and workshops with a lot of different accounting firms. The professionals at these meetings give insight on their personal experience in the accounting world. It is also a great way to network, especially if you're looking for an internship. Um, there are no strict requirements to join SAS. You do have to be in the pre-accounting or in the accounting major. Um, for new members, there's a fee of $60. However, once you're initiated, the dues go down to $30 each semester. A lot of information about us is on our website, at sasucf.org. You can find dates of upcoming events on the website as well, um, especially the Zoom codes too for every meeting. Our orientation is actually today at 4.30. The Zoom code is on the website. Um, we post a lot about um, important events on our Instagram. So feel free to check us out at SAS underscore UCF and connect with us on LinkedIn at Student Accounting Society at UCF. Perfect, thank you so much. And you also have pictures. Wow, sorry, everyone has pictures. <laughs> so these are examples of our networking opportunities. We used to have, well, prior to COVID, there was big events where we'd go out like picnics and play games with a bunch of different professionals from different firms. Um, this semester is all, all the networking is virtual, so, but it's still a great way to connect with firms. We have big events. There's a big event coming up called Meet the Firms. It's a great way to connect with professionals from small, small accounting firms and big firms on a personal level. Most people get internships out of um, this event, so I highly recommend it. Um, on the side, it's a QR code to join our group me. So if you have any questions about our club um, or just any accounting questions at all, feel free to join. Awesome. Great, I'm gonna move on. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. Young Investors Club. Hey guys, I'm Garrett, president of the Young Investors Club. And we have some really cool things going on this semester and for the fall semester that I really want to let you guys know about. Historically, our club has been a slideshow by slideshow type orientation where you learn, you know, just general outlines of investing. Well, me being a career trader with seven years of experience and uh, competing in a national investing championship, uh, I'm kind of changing that up this semester. I want to take our members from training all the way to training in the financial markets, and I want them to be able to win in the financial markets. So how are we going to do that? Uh, the first five weeks are all about building a solid foundation. So, you know, some of the basics for us, what is a stock price? What is a stock? Uh, reading stock charts, et cetera, et cetera. But to go along with that, uh, we, charge $50, we charge a $50 fee for the semester and $85 for the year. But to go along with that, we give you guys a $30 book right up front that's going to go hand in hand with what we talk about in the meetings. On top of that, we have some extracurricular stuff, such as paintballing and top golf that we have planned. And while the Zoom or all the meetings are online and Zoom, we want to be able to go out and have fun with the club and build fellowship. We want it to be fun because, you know, everyone assumes investing is supposed to be, oh, I made this much this uh, over this time. It's not supposed to be an arrogant thing. It's supposed to be self-betterment and helping you guys out. And so the things we're teaching are not that you're not going to learn at UCF. It's not academic. But what it is going to do is going to give you the best odds of success at winning in the stock market and any financial market. Uh, you can follow us or you can uh, email us at yikatucf at gmail.com. Or reach out to us on Instagram at yik underscore UCF. Our first kickoff meeting will be mentioned on the next slide. Okay. So here are a couple of pictures of our club. In the bottom left, you have Professor Ray Sturm, who came in and talked to us about a few technical analysis that he uses to outperform in the marketplace. In the top left and the top right, we have some of our bigger meetings that we had last semester. And in the middle with the QR code, 
that one will, if you got to scan that with your cell phone in order to get a quick screenshot, it has all the Zoom meeting information for a kickoff meeting that starts on January 27th at 6.30. The beautiful thing about our club is that we also offer GEB points. We have professional keynote speakers coming in halfway through the semester, such as CEO Kim Rivers, and some of you may know her as the CEO of TrueLeave, uh, which is a publicly traded company, something that has never been done in our, cl in our club's history. And then on top of that, the book I mentioned, we have the author who has a 30 year track record coming in to tell you guys exactly what he does in the marketplace. Uh, but if you take a screenshot of that, that will get you into our first kickoff meeting. And the bonus thing is you get the first two meetings free. So that way, if you're not completely hooked on this first meeting, you have two more meetings just to test out and see, wow, this is a really a club worth investing in. Right off the bat, they invested in me by giving a, me a hardcover book mail to my house. And now I get the, meet up with this local group of, uh, of uh, like-minded people in a big investing community to further my investment knowledge. Wow, that's awesome. Again, definitely scan this QR code. We're gonna move on to the group, uh, the group questions. <laughs> uh, I hate to ask, Tanya, can we go back to the uh, YIC info? Someone yep. in the uh, chat asked for it. Yeah, we'll give it a couple of seconds. Um... So there we go. But yeah, we actually have two of our members right now competing in the United States Investing Championship. So it should be a lot of knowledge to be assured to help shorten the learning curve for you guys. Awesome. Thank you so much. Yep. So we have a question. What are the benefits and resources for members? Uh, starting off. Um, Alpha Kappa Psi, please. Sure. Um, so some of the benefits and resources to our members that we offer. First, our utmost resource is that we provide a develop professional development in each member as our mission is to develop members into principal business leaders. So this task includes instilling hard professional skills such as sales, public speaking, strategy, portfolio building, and more. Once a member, various professional opportunities that suit anyone's hobbies or interests are, um, are available. So if you're interested in fashion, photography, event planning, we've got something for you too. Um, as mentioned before, um, our alumni is very present and their goal is to recruit brothers who are still in college for opportunities that they know of first. So really, you'll never really have to job hunt again. And lastly, um, we have Alpha Kappa Psi is the largest network in the world. Once you're a brother, you're now related to brothers in Hong Kong, brothers in Canada and Europe. The best part is they wanna to talk to you too and connect you with your next opportunity. That's awesome, thank you. Uh, CEO Knights. Hey, so I kind of spent some time talking about this already, but I would definitely say it's 100% the networking opportunities. Since we're still, like I said, and keep on reiterating kind of a smaller club, you have that chance to literally just one-on-one -on -one talk with someone that could, you know, own a investment bank or a real estate firm or Jesse Wolf owns a uh, hummus company. You know, it's just like anything that you guys are interested in, we can bring in. And we're really tailoring our meetings to what the members want this semester. Perfect, thank you so much. Um, oops. FMA. So the benefits of being an FMA include the opportunity to network directly with employers as well as your peers. Well, whenever we have our meetings and an employer comes out to speak, right after the meeting, you can go and talk to them directly for pretty much however long you want. So if you wanna establish those professional connections with the speakers that come out to our meetings, you can do that. We have fun socials. Um, when COVID wasn't a thing and hopefully when it's not gonna be a thing, we had awesome fundraising activities and conference trips. Uh, we offer professional development via our workshops. We offer LinkedIn workshops, resume workshops. We're gonna be doing Excel workshops. Uh, we have leadership opportunities for our members in our committees and on the executive board. We have a mentor mentee program where we can assign you to an experienced FMA member. And if you have any questions about classes, about your LinkedIn, about resumes, about internships, about anything, you can ask them. And if they don't know, 
they can reference you to another one of our mentors who could perhaps write in insight onto what your questions are. And we also have our own career fair, which is Meet the Firms. Um, it's weird because we have the same name as the accounting Meet the Firms, but our Meet the Firms uh, FMA members get one hour exclusive with the employers that come out for Meet the Firms. So that's one hour that you get just to one-on-one -on -one with the employers that come out to establish connections and to potentially find internship or job opportunities with them. So those are just some of the benefits of being an FMA member. Wow, that's awesome. Thank you. Um, next, Phi Delta Phi. Um, yeah, so the benefits Phi Delta Phi has to offer our members. Um, yes, obviously, I already mentioned a um, mentor-mentee program. Um, and then Phi Delta Phi International has their own mentor-mentee program in case you wanted to be matched with someone, I don't know, across the nation or within the state of Florida, just someone different. Um, we also have, we also offer law school application help. Um, applying to law school is a headache in, a, in a, and of itself. And so a lot of our members, including a lot of um, the e-board are experiencing that headache. And so they are more than willing to help you um, prepare for when you apply to law school or give you tips as you apply to law school. Um, we also have discounts on LSAT prep courses. We have a partnership with Kaplan um, and you can go to free workshops. Um, I, for example, I went to a financial, like how to pay for law school workshop. And that's amazing because law school itself costs an arm and a leg. And <laughs> I need to know how I'm going to pay for that. <laughs> so, and it's free just by signing up. So that's great. And then we also have scholarships. Um, Phi Delta Phi International has scholarships that you can apply for. Um, and then we have travel benefits, insurance benefits, uh, and bar prep discounts. So, and then also lastly, um, leadership opportunities as well. A lot of the e-board were, were seniors and we're graduating so there's a lot of room we're, we need people to fill those spots so if you are looking for a leadership opportunity and are motivated and are willing and is willing to carry this org on your back and do do it to the best of your ability um, then for sure feel free to apply join apply for um, the leadership positions that are available awesome thank you moving on uh, student accounting society so the benefits are networking opportunities. Um, the weekly meetings throughout the semester help you network with professionals on a personal and professional level. I would also say um, a sense of community is a benefit. You get to connect with others in the major. It's a go-to network for questions and advice. Um, also professional development. You will be able to grow in your career path. We help you um, build your resume. You learn interview skills and you can learn how to improve your soft and technical skills. And I would also say career exploration. You figure out what you want out of the accounting degree. Um, a lot of our meetings, you get to explore the different jobs accounting in the accounting field, such as audit, tax, and consulting. Awesome. Wow, that's amazing. And then last but not least, Young Investors Club. Hey guys, so some of the benefits of joining our club is that you're going to be a part of a closely knit investing community. A lot of people may see, wow, $50 is a little bit steep for an investing community, but as business majors, as you guys know, that price is a direct variation of value. And so essentially, uh, people have mentioned mentors. I, I treat everyone in the club who has knowledge as a mentor because I believe you can learn something from everybody. Uh, on top of that, we do take club trips and have club outings whenever COVID, COVID permits. Uh, I mentioned previously that we have paintball and top golf scheduled. Uh, you're going to get a different flair. You're not just going to get academic knowledge as far as, you know, structured UCF and a little thing called modern portfolio theory. We're going to teach you how the best traders in the league over the past hundred years have made their millions and how, how they have performed excessively well in the stock market. So that with our keynote speakers and a board that has uh, uh, honestly probably combined about uh, well, just a lot of experience in the different areas of the market is going to be something for everybody, whether you're a short-term or long-term player. And uh, last but not actually probably the biggest part, not even close to least, is that uh, the people in our club, we're going to be able to shorten that learning curve for you. You don't have to mis make the mistakes that I made when I first started out. We're going to take you instead of starting at rock bottom and start you from where our knowledge is now. And you guys are going to uh, really, there's that saying, uh, walking on the shoulders of giants. We guys are going to lift you guys up and get you guys in the wind column as fast as possible. Awesome. Thank you.
Next question is, what is the member turnout? So first, Alpha Kappa Psi, just a quick answer for this question. Sure. Um, so we have about seven, 70 active members and about 200 active UCF alumni. Uh, uh, CEO Knights? We have about uh, 20 to 40, depending on the meeting, at least as of last semester, active members, which is nice because it's more a little bit tight knit. Great. Uh, FMA. Our typical member turnout is between 25 to 40 people for a typical meeting. But when GEB deadlines roll around, it could be as high as around 100. Wow, that's awesome. Uh, Phi Delta Phi. Um, our member turnout is anywhere between 20 and 30, and we're hoping to increase that this semester. Wonderful. And then Student Accounting Society. Our member turnout is ranges between 30 and 40 members every semester. Mm -hmm. And then Young Investors Club. We have about four, we consistently get about 40 people and kind of like CEO nights. So that allows for a close knit community. And that really tells you that those 40 people who consistently show up want to learn about the financial markets and when. Awesome. And then last group question, what has been your biggest takeaway from your organization? So let's start off with Alpha Kappa Psi. Sure, so I would say that I have three large takeaways. My first takeaway is my professional skill set that only brothers of Alpha Kappa Psi have, um, which is like the ability to never fail at an internship interview, a professional portfolio while most people are just passing out resumes, things like that. Um, I also have a strong network of people where I can ask and at the end of the day, I'll have an answer no matter what the question or request is. Finally, my largest takeaway is the support system. I founded my business, Lucrative Links, in April 2020. Um, I designed websites, logos, and business cards. And since joining Alpha Kappa Psi, business has been like booming. Revenues have doubled. So even if they, even if it wasn't a member or a brother making a purchase, it was a friend of theirs or a family member of theirs. So even if you aren't interested in starting a business, the brotherhood is definitely there to support you in every endeavor that you may um, that you may go into. Thank you so much. Uh, CEO Knights, CEO Knights. <laughs> there you go. I'm not gonna steal too much of Cameron's thunder, but honestly, I'm not gonna lie, pretty much the exact same thing. I already harped a lot on the networking aspect and Cameron really summed it up pretty nicely. It's the constant support that you get and the easy access to just so many business professionals, you know, uh, for each club, it's gonna be different, but I think that's gonna be a pretty common theme that we all have access to. Um, and then lastly, because it's a smaller club is the, um, resume opportunity. So we have a marketing team that you can join and that can build your resume or, uh, I forget which club it was, but, uh, one of the clubs said that all their seniors are graduating soon. I, myself, am a junior. Um, and I've been able to be president since last year, which is kind of nice. And so that's a good resume booster for me, but a lot of our board is graduating soon. So there's a really big resume booster there. So that's about it. That's awesome. Uh, FMA. The biggest takeaway that I took away from that I've from my time in FMA, the thing that has made the biggest difference is being exposed to what top students in our College of Business Administration do to be successful and to get ahead. When I wasn't involved, I didn't really have an understanding of what they were doing. But once I was involved, I got to see, oh, they're in internships all the time, or they're constantly applying for them, or they're working in them. They have top-notch resumes. They know how to network. They know how to do all of these things that can distinguish them as candidates for internships and jobs. So being be able to be in an environment where you're exposed to top performers, where you're exposed to people who know how to get ahead, that was very inspiring to me. And that is what made the biggest difference to me from joining FMA. Wow, that's awesome. Um, Phi Delta Phi. So my biggest takeaway, um, again, is my leadership skills and um, enhancing my public speaking, communicating with fellow e-board members or just general body members, um, and also collaborating with one another and hearing different people's perspectives and how they perceive things. 
Um, it's, it's just a great way to learn whether it be law related or not law related. Um, it's just nice to hear different perspectives and how people perceive things and you learn off of that. Um, for example, our, our secretary is actually, actually an accounting major. So she brings like a cool perspective to the e-board when we're collaborating on um, different ideas and um, things like that because she's an accounting major and she's a part of the College of Business, which is awesome. Things like we would have never thought of just as pre-law majors. So I believe that's my biggest takeaway for sure. That's awesome. Thank you. And then a uh, young, and no, wait, sorry. A uh, student accounting society. Sorry. <laughs> it's okay. My biggest takeaway is the sense of community. I have learned so much and the support, the support system within our organization has been really comforting. Um, I was new to the major about a year ago and I didn't know where to start. And I didn't know much about accounting in general, like professional wise. Um, but joining SAS really helped me find myself within the major and I'm it it makes me really grateful for it. Wonderful. And then Young Investors Club. So the biggest takeaway that I want you guys to take away from my little presentation today is that we are going to completely immerse you guys in a market-oriented learning experience. It's a different flavor than what UCF is going to give you in the typical finance or business class, but we will be giving you industry professionals the right materials and tools to go out into the marketplace and win consistently. And we really will take you guys from training all the way to trading.